I'm Colin Chen. My assistant here is Raman Reed. Hello everyone. Today I'll be doing a practical demonstration of how to apply Ivocet parasiticide on a goat. There are two main parasites that may affect the animals. We have internal parasites and we have external parasites. Internal parasites, those are parasites that live inside the animal and feed on the animal from the inside. For example, we have roundworm, roundworm. The roundworm feed on undigested food in the digestive system of the animal, thus resulting that the animal will look or will have a poor health. Also, we have external parasites, for example, mites, mange mites, lice, and ticks. The ivocip is very effective in treating both the internal parasites and the external parasites. Before we administer the IVOSEP using the subcutaneous method, let me just briefly explain the two methods of administration. We have the oral administration whereby the medication is applied via the mouth of the animal. So you could apply the, the medication in a liquid form which we normally call drenching or the drenching the animal. Or you could apply it in a powder form in the feed of the animal and the animal eat the feed it will basically consume the, the medication now we have another number two we have the administration using injection which i'll demonstrate one of those methods today the substitutes we have three main methods of injection we have the intravenous method whereby we will put the medication inside the vein of the animal and deliver the medication in the vein of the animal. You have number two subcutaneous method, which I'll demonstrate to you whereby the medication will be administered under the skin of the animal. And then third, last but not least, we have the intramuscular method, whereby the injection needle and the medication is delivered or administered in the muscles of the animal. How do we know when the animal need treatment? All right, I'm going to basically show you some ways. All right, number one, you can look into the eyes of the animal. So you look inside. If it is looking white to slight pink, it means the animal is not healthy. If it is of a very bright red, it means the animal is healthy. However, you don't just use one observation. So I'm going to show you more than one um, observation. The other thing is to observe the coat of the animal, which is the hair of the animal. Now, if the animal has a rough coat, as you can see here, rough coat, it means the animal is not healthy. It should have a very smooth coat, such as having a sheen or looking shine. So right here you can see that the animal has a rough coat. Alright. Also, this is the line area. You will also feel the bone under the line area. If you notice, my hand is going in very easy and it, it's, it, it's bony. So when the hand is going very easy underneath the line bone and it's, you feel if it is fat. This one is not feeling very fat, so it means the animal needs treatment. An healthy animal 
the loin should feel fat underneath. So you can see it mm -hmm. very slim. Also, another observation to make is the tail of the animal. So if the animal has feces on the tail, it means the animal have internal parasites. So the animal tail, we call it soil tail. It is dirty and have feces on it. It means the animal needs treatment. The need for this demonstration or this activity is uh, your gloves, your syringe. Of course, the syringe is the part that contains the medication, so it is the hold of the liquid, and of course, the syringe should have a needle. Now, the dosage for this animal is 0 0.5 ml or half a ml. Animal, the dosage is 1 ml to 100 pounds of animal, but this goat weighs about 45 pounds, so we'll give it 0 0.5 ml. Before we administer the medication or treatment, we make sure we try to get out as much hair or we try to get out the air bubble. So, what we do is to release. You notice there are no more ear. You don't want any ear to get into the bloodstream of the animal. Might cause some complication to the animal or might affect negatively the health of the animal. Alright. Let's get into the demonstration of how you administer the ibacy. So they use your legs to hold the neck of the animal. Now subcutaneous is going under the skin. So you want to find a part of the animal that has loose skin. Now at the point of the elbow of the animal which is here you have some loose skin. So you pull on the skin, you pinch on the skin. Alright, so you pinch. Also why you want it loose, you don't want the skin to squeeze out the medication. So this medication might sting the animal, so if it reacts, it's because the medication stings. So, you put the, you insert the needle under the skin. So it's under the skin now. Release the medication, remove. It's stung, so you rub it out. This method will get into the animal bloodstream very quickly, so it will work very fast. Within two, three days, it will start. Well, immediately, it will start working. All right. This is the end of our demonstration. Hopefully, you learn some things. Bye, guys. Keep in tune.